This sequence circuit, controlling the level of the fuel oil settling tank within a set range, is comprised of various devices. Its high-level and low-level switches are B-contact types, allowing the relay to open when the float rises. Now, let's take a step-by-step -step look at how the sequence circuit works. Let us begin by assuming that the tank is empty. At this time, the relays for the high-level and low-level float switches are closed. Let's also assume that the changeover switch for selecting auto or manual control is set to manual mode. How does the sequence circuit function under these conditions? The MCCB is turned on. As voltage is applied to the sequence circuit through the transformer, the white lamp WH illuminates, current is passed through XB, exciting the coil of the on-delay timer TLR. Here, TLR's relay operates if no operation is carried out from the time of execution till a set time has elapsed. However, here the pump is operated immediately. As the push button switch PBSA is pressed, a current is passed from PBSA to changeover switch COS to press button switch PBSB to high-level float switch LSH and to the coil of control relay X. Thus, the coil of X is excited. As a result, XA is turned on and the current begins to flow from XA to PBSB LSH and to X. Therefore, even though the finger is removed from PBSA, X continues to be excited. This state is known as the self-holding state of X. When XA is turned on, the coil of MC is excited. As MC's coil is excited, MC's contactor is turned on. Current is passed to the motor through MCCB, MC and THR and the motor starts. Then the pump starts operating to supply the tank with water. As XA is turned on, the green operation lamp illuminates. As XB is turned off, the timer's coil is demagnetized. As the fuel oil transfer pump usually operates in auto control operation mode, the changeover switch is usually switched over to auto mode after confirming that pump operation has been initiated. Pump operation continues because X remains in self holding state after switchover. If the pump operation continues, the fuel oil level rises. Here, LSH float rises and LSH relay turns off. Let's see how the sequence circuit operates from this state. When LSH relay is turned off, current passing through XA, PBSB, LSH and to X is cut off and X coil is demagnetized. As a result, XA turns off and X does not remain in self-holding state. MC coil is demagnetized as XA turns off. As a result, MC contactor turns off to interrupt the supply of power to the motor, bringing pump operation to a halt. As XA turns off, the green operation lamp goes out. With XB turned on, the timer TLR coil is excited. The TLR relay turns on after a set period of time elapses, and the MCSH coil is excited. Then MCSH contactor turns on, allowing current to flow to the space heater. This prevents the motor from accumulating condensation due to cooling. If the liquid level falls gradually while the pump is stopped, the LSH float goes down and the LSH relay is turned on again. However, the motor remains stopped because the X coil is not excited. If the liquid level falls even further, and the LSL float also falls, the LSL relay turns on. If COS is set to auto mode, X is excited and returns to sequence operation. This is because with XA turned on, current begins to flow from XA to PBSB, LSH and to X, enabling X to remain excited even if you take your finger off PBSA. By repeating this operation, the level in the tank is controlled within the preset parameters. However, if COS remains in manual mode, the pump does not operate because X is not excited even though the LSL relay is turned on. The tank eventually becomes empty. Next, let's look at an example where the pump is stopped manually and then started again. 
Let's assume that the tank is about half full and the pump is operated in auto mode. At this time, LSH relay is on and the LSL relay is off. As PBSB is pressed, current passing through XA to PBSB, LSH and to X is cut and X is demagnetized. In the subsequent sequence operation, XA turns off and X does not remain in self-holding state. So pump operation comes to a stop. Next, let's see how pump operation is resumed. First, the changeover switch is set to manual mode. When PBSA is pressed, current passes through PBSA to COS to PBSB, LSH and to X, and X is excited. In the subsequent sequence operation, XA turns on, allowing current to flow from XA to PBSB, LSH and to X. As a result, X remains excited and pump operation continues, even if you take your finger off PBSA. Further, let's assume that current exceeding the rated current is passed to the motor during pump operation. Possible causes include the motor having stopped because of damage to a bearing, or a large quantity of dirt accumulated on the vein in the tank has caused the load on the motor to increase tremendously. Let's see sequence circuit operation under these conditions. As excess current passes to the motor, heat is generated in the thermal relay THR heater. The THR relay of the sequence circuit opens because of heat generation in the THR heater. Current is cut off as the THR relay opens and the X coil demagnetizes. Then XA turns off, demagnetizing the MC coil and turning the MC off. However, the THR relay does not reset automatically. If the relay is left as it is, the tank will become empty. This is because even though the LSL float falls along with the liquid level, the motor is not operating automatically. Make sure that the MCCB is turned off when searching for the cause of the excess current. When the problem has been resolved, turn the MCCB and THR on and start operation by switching the changeover switch to manual mode. Dust can easily accumulate inside the control panel containing the sequence control circuit. If this dust accumulates between the control relay terminal and the MC terminal, electric current may flow through it, generating heat and even fire. This fire may spread to the electric cables inside the panel and, in the worst case, burn out the whole control panel. To prevent such an incident, compressed air should be used periodically to blow away any dust that accumulates inside the control panel and switchboard. Use of cotton rags should be avoided, because the oil on the rags could stick to the terminal board, making it even easier for dust to accumulate. Push-button switches, relays and other similar devices are connected by electric cables. Vibration can cause the screws that fix the connection terminals of these cables to loosen over time. So, periodically check all screws and tighten them as necessary.